I would like to tell you about three things that, in my opinion, have a huge potential to make a difference in the world we live in and in the world we create for the future generations. These three things are creativity, games and sustainability. To understand why I've chosen these three things, we need to imagine the future. We need to predict the consequences of our actions and we need to change the way we think about our thinking. Or we can change the future by playing it before living it, as it already happened in an alternate reality game called World Without Oil. Gardner, a UK-based leader among information technology research and advisory companies, reports that by 2015, more than 50% of organizations that manage innovation processes will gamify those processes. Creativity and innovation are exceptionally popular buzzwords nowadays. However, innovation experts such as Bettina von Stamm or Anja Pahl report that many of us can barely explain what these words actually mean. Still, many of us think that creativity is a divine ability that was given by God, or that this is some sort of magic associated with genes. So yet we have 2012, and creativity is a component of human personality associated with general intelligence and thinking styles, and we are responsible for anything we create. The other thing is that creativity is very difficult to measure, yet it can be systematic. We have more than 110 varied innovation techniques and creativity tools. Popular methods are brainstorming and mind mapping, however most reliable and advanced ones are less known tools such as advanced systematic inventive thinking acid, theory of inventive problem solving trees and super advanced theory of inventive problem solving the prism to name just a few. All mentioned systematic innovation tools also have their game-like versions. For instance, the prison game designed by Anya Pal is a board and card simulation game that is based on Trist method. However, it was enhanced by further research that compared the problem solving that exists in engineering design with the problem solving that exists in nature. And even though there are only few games that teach systematic innovation, I believe that invention games, if properly designed, can make a huge impact in the future. Therefore, they need more attention. Out of my passion, I designed a model for invention games, and I called it Integrative Model for Invention Game Design, IMIGA. And so I designed this model to help researchers, game designers and educationalists to better understand and apply innovation in game design. Moreover, I think that if we would use those game-based innovation tools and play them for 21 billion hours per week collectively, as game designer Jane McGonigal already calculated, and focus on serious topics related to sustainability, we, as innovative players, could become more eco-savvy because with invention games, it is possible to better understand how things work and we could create better products, ideas and services faster. So let's think big, but let's also play and act big so that we and future generations will be able to live in a better, more creative, enjoyable and sustainable world.